What up, dudes? It's your boy Isaac, and guess what I saw? Episode 9 of Atlanta, Juneteenth. Oh, snap! Guess what I saw? Oh, snap! Guess what I saw? Oh, snap! Guess what I saw? Um, Earn meets up with Van. We don't get any Paperboy or Darius this episode, but it's essentially an episode about networking because Van basically picks up Earn so they can meet up with her mom, who's actually married to this rich dude. Long story short, they're networking because they need jobs. They need money. They broke. They are both broke. So essentially, once they actually get to, uh, you know, their mom, Van's mom's place, they find uh, that she's married to this rich white dude who is like really Afrocentric and wants to wear black people. He like literally wants to absorb the culture and basically feel so guilty because of slavery and stuff. But he's, he, he, he just took it so overboard and he's very weird. <laughs> <clears throat> Jim Crow has the name of a man, but is a goat. Um, throughout this episode, it's got like just real humor to it. It's very meta, but it's kind of surreal from a you know, African American standpoint. Um, even down to the drinks, like you know, um, Van's uh, stepfather, I guess, offers uh, your boy Earn some Hennessy for crying out loud. Um, other than that. Um, the thing that really sets this episode off, and this may trigger some people, but it was funny to me, was that, like, uh, dude was basically having a National Freedom Day, like, party in commemoration of African Americans being freed. And they even had, like, like Negro spiritual music playing, and it was ridiculously funny. But, man, um, long, I, love, I love this show because, you know, even... When the episodes aren't basically giving you like a lot of laugh out loud moments, it still is basically, you know, giving you a lot of character development. Like I felt like I learned so much about Van as well as Aaron throughout this episode. Um, especially at the end where um where we see um where Van's mom is coming from. She essentially is marrying, not for love, but just for money because she loves money more than she would actually love any kind of man. And she's also pretty stuck up too, like uh, she doesn't know that Earn is a, basically a, a manager for Paperboy. And when she finds out because, you know, her husband like was like putting two and two together. It's like, Earn, you look kind of familiar throughout the whole episode. He, he says, oh, yeah, you're his manager. And then like um, Van's mom just says, oh, you know, I guess you got to basically stick up for like thugs in your family. And that kind of triggers uh, Earn. And rightfully so, because I would probably do the same thing in this situation. You know what? I'm fucking broke, dude. It's I'm broke. My bad. And he just basically snaps on her. But um, overall, the episode was good. I, I love this show. I just wish it could be longer. But this episode felt like it was uh, going a step in the right direction. A brother needs to get some Darius and Paperboy, though. But that's I'm waiting for those kind of uh, you know deep episodes for those two characters because I know they're coming. But if you can actually keep up this trend, Atlanta, yeah, you know, you'll keep your audience going and happy. Lots of love to that. Lots of love to this TV show. I recommend that you watch the show. I'll leave a link in the description below. Hey, that rhymes. But yeah, that way you guys can actually check out recaps because I, I do a recap for every single episode. They're pretty short, but um, I hope you guys like them. And if you guys like what you hear and you want to hear more, subscribe for it, brother. I appreciate all the love and feedback. One love and deuces. I'm out. See you next week. Paperboy message for Yeah, tell him my sister likes him. Okay. Here's a pair of underwear. Whoa. Give it to Paperboy. Whoa. A name tangible.